Sametis tõmmeldud huule seemel ju armastamus. Issand Jeesus Kristus Jumala põhjus, heida hõrmu! Ta on olla tema naine. Kas sa sõtta nii, et ta temast lõpuks ja mind armastaks? Üks, mida me kohe teha võime, on see. Tapame ära Hansu praeguse karmi. Sina ei arutama minna. Ilm on ju nii ilus. Mis Lilli saa vanamõt veel novembri kuus korjad. Hey, what's going on, people? This is Spiderman here once again with another film review. And this time I'm reviewing another surreal, weird film. Kind of like the last film I reviewed, St. Bernard. But this is a more newer film from Estonia. Yeah, so this is a European film, and we all know how weird those films are. So let's talk about November. Now, November, I knew nothing about it going in. I just knew that it was a black and white movie. And this is one of those, like, fantasy, uh, sort of like uh, The Witch. Have you guys ever seen The Witch? Sort of that kind of style of film. So we have these people that live in this uh, poor Estonian village. And they use like these, uh, I guess they're like these pagan people and they use like these remedies, this magic to survive the winter. And there is a girl in here that she has a crush on this guy, but this guy uh, loves another girl. So we have that going on. And what I was surprised to find out in this movie though is that uh, Dieter Laser, uh, aka Dr. Hyder from the Human Centipede films is in this film. And he plays the Baron. Um, and I was surprised to see him in this movie because ever since the last movie I saw that he was in was in The Human Centipede 3. And that was like, what, in 2015. So I hadn't seen any film since that that he starred in. Um, but in this film, uh, he's not that much in the film. And he, of course, he plays his character very uh, menacing. Um, but I don't know. I feel like... Like, this wasn't his best film. I mean, he wasn't in the film that much, and he really wasn't one of the main characters. But it was still surprising and kind of cool to see him in another movie that wasn't The Human Centipede. Uh, out of all the actors, he's the only one I really recognize. But I gotta say, though, this film, <laughs> right off the bat, man, the beginning was really, really interesting. We see these creatures uh, named Kratz. They're these weird mechanical creatures. And I thought 
the whole animation, the whole way that was filmed was pretty good. That's one of the things that stands out for me in this film is the Kratz. And I don't know much about Estonian uh, folklore or Estonian literature or anything like that. So maybe that's why I really couldn't understand what this movie was trying to say or what this film was about. But this film does have a good dose of weird, dark humor. And yeah, man, I mean, I, I, don't, I can't really say, explain the film that well, because like I said, it's a European film and it was based on his novel. So I, I guess unless if you read the novel that this movie is based on, you probably have more understanding of this film. But this film is very slow burn. It's one of those slow burn films. It's very slow paced. So um, for that reason, I would say this film is not for everybody. You probably get bored really quick. Uh, re requires a lot of patience. And yeah, I find myself like, you know, just waiting for something to happen. And not a, lot of, not a lot of stuff happens in between, like the weird stuff and the dark humor scenes. But yeah, the movie does drag a lot. So um, I think they could have like, I don't know, made it more, I guess, shorter, shorter length time, run time. And they could have, I don't know, they could have rewritten the script, uh, put something, I don't know, man. I feel like there was something missing in this film. I don't know what it is, but... If you like those slow burn, uh, black and white, weird films, sort of like The Witch, which I really didn't like that film, The Witch. Uh, I have it on Blu-ray, but I hate that film. You know, the only good thing about that film was the ending. But if you like those type of films, that maybe like films like The Lighthouse or I don't know, shit like that, then you might like this film. But it is a chore to watch and... Like I said, man, you probably get bored. It's not a film for everybody. So at the end of the day, I give this film a 6 out of 10. Uh, now, yeah, I'm just glad I saw this film, though, because I've been wanting to watch it. The trailer looked really, really interesting. And, yeah, I'm just glad I watched it. So that's what I thought about November. Anyways, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're almost to 200 subscribers. Let's get it. Peace.